Hello, hello again, friends and loyal Wolfpack members. Chaos Wolfian, welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Yes, after last episode, we finally got back onto the mothership, really, the Hyperion. And now, we've basically just gone and docked at the main hub. Uh, so we've basically just got to go over for our first meeting there right now. So I'm really curious to see what we're, what's going to happen. So let's go and find out what's actually going to be going and happening now. It'll be nice to see some friendly faces this time. The Nexus runs a support crew, just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the Arcs. Means we can start waking our people up. They built a bar, right? Gotta have champagne for the welcome party. I really hope they have a bar. You're expecting one? <laughs> After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. We all could. Yeah. Rough ride so far. We'll bounce back. Real food and a shower are just ahead. I hope so, but uh, I'm a little bit iffy about what's going on because this main hub doesn't look like it's Here been finished. Are. So I'm really curious as to uh, what is I the problem. Yeah, as we can see, everybody? nothing is finished. So what's going on? Well, this can't be right. It's like everything's on standby. If it's a surprise. Welcome to the Nexus, gateway to Andromeda. I'm Avina, a virtual intelligence designed to assist you with immigration. Uh, can you tell us where the welcome party is hiding? I'm sorry, my code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Please select from the following pre-programmed responses. Um, okay. Uh, let's ask him about the Nexus then. What is the Nexus? The Nexus serves as the central hub for the Andromeda Initiative's colonization efforts. It is the first destination for all colonists upon their arrival in the new galaxy. Please enjoy the many venues the Nexus has to offer. As the station expands, it will one day serve as the seat of government for Milky Way colonists. Providing a safe, stable, and prosperous environment is our primary goal. Not from the looks of it. Yeah, no, it really doesn't look like things are going the way it's supposed to. Where do colonists live? Once you've cleared immigration, our helpful staff will assist you in choosing the home world of your dreams. Will it be the tropical paradise of Habitat 7, <laughs> the gentle rolling hills of Habitat 3, or perhaps the mysterious twilight world of Habitat 5? Whichever you choose, Rest assured, our Pathfinders have carefully vetted all colony worlds to ensure your security and prosperity. Oh boy. Habitat 7. That's where we landed. She's way out of date. Yeah, this is really not great. How does the immigration process work? We ask that you submit to a brief medical exam to ensure your health and well-being after making such a long journey. Once you've been cleared, our colonization experts will assist you in finding your new home. Please be mindful of the queue. Thousands of eager colonists like you are waiting to begin their new life in Andromeda. Uh, where? Place is deserted. Yeah, it definitely is. So what year is this? What year is it? The current year is 2819. After spending over 600 years in stasis, it's normal to feel disoriented or confused upon arrival. Our helpful medical staff can assist with any physical or psychological after effects you may be experiencing. Well, she's got the date right, at least. So where is everyone? What can you tell me about the Andromeda Galaxy? I see how out of date this is. Andromeda, you are over two million light years away from the Milky Way Galaxy. This is the furthest any life form has ever traveled outside our home system, making you a brave pioneer indeed. The Nexus itself is located in a region known as the Helios Cluster. Here, you and thousands of your fellow colonists will fulfill your dreams of settling a new home. Fortune awaits. Yeah. That's all. It has been my pleasure. Please see one of our helpful immigration staff for further assistance. And welcome to your new home in Andromeda, where the brightest star is you. The <laughs> current wait time for immigration processing is... Unknown error. Right. That was helpful. Yeah, very. So, what do we gotta do? Um... Plants are still alive. 
Okay, so nothing up here, it seems, at least for the moment. So, it's what like have we got to find? Building it. Yeah, you can say that again. So, what have we got around the area? It looks like the vast oh. majority of this area is... Oh, here we go. We got someone to talk to, at least. Hi there. We're from Ark Hyperion, and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? Did you say an Ark? Uh, yeah? Yeah, we just got in. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. But we thought you were all dead. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. I'm Tyrion Kandros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. Um, okay. Yeah, we're definitely here. Well, I've got a shipload of people that says we're here. Of course, it's just... You're the first arc we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we call them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. No word from the other Pathfinders? No word from anyone, period. Any threats from the locals? So far, we've stayed hidden. We're here. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? They said drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an arc to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. The crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. I'm Jaren Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. Not as much as it means to us. We had one hell of a time getting here. Nice to see some friendly faces. Hungry faces. Any supplies you can spare would be appreciated. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at him. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec is dead. Please understand, the entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, and there's been no word from the other Arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources, but that takes people. And we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A golden world. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? Yeah, I think so. I may not have been the first choice, but I'm ready for this. Youthful enthusiasm will only get you so far in Andromeda. That's no way to treat a guest. I'm Nak Morkesh, superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. 
At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. We're all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Welcome to the Nexus. Thank you for standing up for me there. Hmm. Hope's in short supply here. What little we can find should have a chance Ma to Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. So it looks like we've got a big job ahead of us. So let's go and is it up there or No, nah, it's on this it's on this level it seems. So let's go find out what is going to happen the now. Where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder. We were discussing your next expedition. Mm-hmm. Good. I was starting to wonder who was in charge around here. Director Addison is entitled to her opinion, and mine overrules hers. Does she know that? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the scourge dealt us a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here, Eos. How? Oh. You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable. So how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right, I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Hmm. Just point me to my ship and I'll be out of here. They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. Ah! Ooh. Something wrong? Ryder, KC, me and Sam note on the Hyperion. Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. All right, okay, so we need to go and talk to Sam. I mean, do we talk to him again right now? Ryder, you have my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. I didn't know him very well, although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. They're as much a part of the initiative as the human arc. We'll find them. We have to. Tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the initiative in an unflattering light. Did you have some other business? Yes, because we really care about how flattering we look. Right, okay. Um... Missing arcs. Any more information you can give me on the missing arcs? No, and that is the distressing part. The Asari, Turian, and Salarian arcs are completely unaccounted for. If they had the same problems with the Scourge that we did, I fear the worst. Should you find any clues, please investigate. Without the other arcs, 
The promise of the initiative can never be fulfilled. Are there any other arcs we should expect? We had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave. But before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. It seems they're also bringing along Drell, Hanar, and other species as well. Managing all of their biological needs caused complications. We won't see them for some time to come. All right, okay. That's all. Thanks for your time. I'm happy to help. You will find our futures depend on each other's success. Good luck. Yeah, not a lot of what, not a lot of weight on my shoulders there, really, is there? So, what else have we got that we need to do? I believe we've got to go down. Yeah, here we go. So, is it here or elsewhere? I mean, what the hell is that? We've got a exclamation mark. Not sure what that is. So, let's go find out what this exclamation mark's all about. Ah, it's this guy. Okay, so what's this about? It's not right. It's not fair. What's wrong? Oh my, you're... So it's true. A Pathfinder has found us. There's hope at last. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband. He's locked up and slated for exile. For a crime he didn't commit. Hmm. Exile, huh? Guess it wasn't for having a hand in the cookie jar. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda. But the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have. There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Nilkin Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. Yeah, all right, fine. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Milken I love him. All right, okay. So, question, where is that? And can we leave that for a little later point? All personnel, be aware of any suspicious activity. Um, right, okay. So, potentially up here? Is this it? I think this might be it. Let's see. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? No, right. Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening. But not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. What is there to be paranoid about? We've had three malfunctions in the past week. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Whoever's doing this has to be stopped before someone gets seriously hurt. That's what I'm trying to do. But I'm an engineer, not a PI. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait! That's it! You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me. If they start hitting critical systems. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one. That'd really help. I've sent the locations to your Omnitool. Just send me the data when you're done. All right. So something else to do. Find out why. Be careful. So, but I think right now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna carry on with our mission. Now it's down no, it's down that way. So it's back down the down here, I believe. Yeah, so So we got Cora here, so what are we doing? Oop, here we go. So, let's see. I believe we're heading off to our ship now. At least I hope so. So, let's see what we've got. Alrighty. 
So the lights are on here at least, and why the hell am I running so weirdly? Yeah, the animations in this game are really screwy. Oh, so I need to go and talk to Samnode. So what are we going to find out here? I wonder if there's an issue with Hi, our Amanda. implant. Welcome back to Samnode. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. All right, that's nice to know. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. All right. Restricted access to Sam Node has now been lifted. I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's me now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. All right, okay. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. Huh. That's pretty amazing. But beyond what many people will accept, your father knew some would fear it. Yeah, he's got a point. So what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Alright, okay. So we've got Soldier, Engineer, Adept, Sentinel. We're currently Vanguard, uh, Infiltrator, and Explorer. So what does this mean? Does this mean that we can actually just go and unlock each of these individually? Hmm, okay. That's interesting. So basically, we just start off as what we chose, and then we can unlock the rest of them, it seems. That's interesting. Cool. Alright. Now, I'm curious, can we actually go and equip and de-equip items here? Uh, or do we have to go somewhere specific in order to actually go and swap equipment out? I'm not sure. But I guess we'll have to find out soon. Uh, got pistol mods... Assault Rifle Mods, okay. So AR Barrel, what does this do? Uh, creating greater gunfire velocity on impact, so more damage. Uh, stability, and stability. Oh, okay. Oh, i got two of the same ones, so yeah, damage or stability. Uh, I'm assuming we have to find a crafting bench in order to actually go and use all that. So that's going to be interesting. So right now, we need to go to the ship, and I think that's this way around. Oh, we've got containers. Ooh, ooh. Loot. What have we got? Uh, right. Asari com link. All right, okay. So let's go and see. So we're going to have to go back into the transport thing again. So let's go and find out what our ship looks like, because I'm rather curious about this. Because it turns out that in order to get any of our deluxe uh, items, deluxe edition items, we need to have the ship. What the? Uh, oh, right, okay. Docking bay. So that's what we need to do. We choose the individual things. Right, that makes more sense. Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. 
We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. They call her the Tempest. He looks happy. I can see why. Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. All right, then. Yeah. Let's go see the rest of Helios. Hold it, hold it. You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Hmm. Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. Yeah, it seems like that's been an issue around here. But then again, these colonists here, they've been stuck so long, stalled, and not be able to move forward. I can see why it's more of an issue. Everything's state of the art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Plus her crew, of course. The best in their field. Ah, glad to see you looking well. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. Very nice. And this will be an adventure. It's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Oh, we got the level up. Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. Yeah, we'll head to the bridge soon. I Amusing just want to go and pick up table or just some other together. items. Now, so that's the bridge. But I do believe down, actually down the bottom is our private quarters, which is where we need to go now. Well, we don't need to go there, but I'm just going to go and... 
have a look because I believe I think this is it. These yes, are the it is. Quarters. Your quarters. Sam's router is down there too. Okay, there we go. So we've got all our items. Awesome. So we've got a bunch of stuff. Let's have a look at what we've got in our inventory. So it looks like we've got a bunch of items. Three chests, one legs and one arms. So let's go and see what we've got. We've got the initiative helmet. We've got the explorer helmet, which is going to increase our experience. And we've got the scavenger helmet. Ooh, look at that. Um, hmm, I wonder. So why can't I actually go and swap and change items? We've got the standard arms, got a bunch of different chests. So we've got the standard initiative armor, the explorer armor, and the scavenger's armor. All right, okay. So ultra rare items. And what these give us are weapon weight, so it reduces the weapon weight. So theoretically, we could carry really heavy weapons with us. Extended ammo capacity, and we actually make more money on selling items. So that seems really nice to have. And the legs are the standard ones here. All right, okay. So that's interesting. Uh, I believe, actually, come to think of it, we've probably got a bunch of extra weapons. We've got two pistols now. So we've got the Pathfinder Ranger, which is an SMG, which has been lumped into the pistols, from what I understand, along with like little things like hand cannons and so on. Uh, we've got an extra assault rifle, so we've got the Pathfinder Pioneer. So apparently this is a bit of an overpowered weapon when you're in the lower parts of the game. Uh, shotguns, which I really like myself. So we've got the standard one, we've got the katana, and we've got the impact. That's 255, so it's less damage than the katana. So we'll have to see. I like the look, I like uh, uh, shotguns, because we are a really close range build at the moment at least anyway we've got sniper rifles as well i didn't realize sniper rifles were a thing in the game so that's gonna be interesting uh melee is that have we got anything extra no nah, it's just the standard omni blade pistol mods assault rifle mods and sniper rifle mods so we've got a few extra little odds and ends So, let's go find out what else we've got to go and have done soon. But it's just nice to go and have all everything done there. We've got paint jobs as well for different things. Uh, let's quickly check the terminal, because I think there might be something else. Oh, yeah. So, we got the pre job uh, All right, okay. So, marker's red. All right, okay. So, basically, we get ourselves a little pet to go and sit around the ship and all. So, that's epic. All right, okay. Okay, so let's go and see what we've got ahead of us then. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jav. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Yeah. Plenty of dangers out there, but I'll do my best to avoid them. That's reassuring. Wouldn't want to lose my finest work to that angry cloud. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? <laughs> We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. 
Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. So, what's we, what are we to say? Let's go for that one. We were all expecting a golden world. Now there's just a long road ahead. But hold on to that dream. It might see us through. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. That is a sexy ship. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. To Eos, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Two failed outposts put an end to the idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Okay, so that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I do hope you've enjoyed it. I'm actually getting into this right now, despite the little problems niggling at the game, like the animations and so on. I'm kind of getting invested. I'm really curious to see what we're going to have further on down the line. So, like the video if you've liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. Neither of those good enough for you, that's what the comments are for. But I've been Commander Chaos Wolf from Sci-Fi Gaming. You guys, as always, have been epic. I will see you soon. Until next time, my fellow explorers, keep flying and stay shiny.